Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. In this video, we're going to be looking at a watch that my good buddy Steve at the Watch Corner gifted me. I'm still blown away. I'm still shocked and surprised that he did this just out of the blue. Uh, he was up here visiting in our area. He was spending some time with Average Joe and his family. and. I shot up to Average Joe's house and we had a little cookout together, spent some time together a couple weeks ago now. And while we were there, Steve handed me this little wrapped gift and it happened to be a watch from the brand Zodiac. So I was just blown away when I opened the package and I'm excited to show you what Zodiac watch he gave me in this video. Let's flip the camera around and check it out. All right, so again, big shout out to Steve at the Watch Corner for gifting me this watch. I'm gonna show it to you just in a second, but please go follow him on Instagram. Go check him out on YouTube, subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's a great guy, down to earth, and uh, just a really kind heart. So please check out Steve at the Watch Corner. And without further ado, here is the Zodiac that he gave me. It's on my wrist because ever since he gave it to me, I've just been wearing it and wearing it and wearing it. I haven't really worn anything else. So I'm really enjoying this piece. It is the Zodiac Sea Dragon. Some of you might be familiar with this watch. I don't believe they produce them anymore, but uh, according to Steve, he uh, purchased this from his watch dealer or watch maker. Uh, a little while back, and I believe this is a model from the 2000s, somewhere around 2010 or something like that. So, pretty cool piece, and as you can see, it's not automatic. It is a quartz movement, Swiss quartz, but I am just in love with the design of this watch, and I love the dimensions of it. We'll get all the dimensions here in a second, but I think this is just a really really cool piece so let me take it off the wrist and we'll take a closer look at this amazing gift that Steve gave me I'm just blown away anytime anybody gives me anything uh, and especially a watch I'm just really humbled by that so thanks again Steve big shout out to you buddy I'm gonna have to pay it back to you somehow at some point uh, but this is just an awesome awesome gift so of course this watch I don't know everything about it but I did write a few things down and I have been wearing it for quite a while it is a used piece uh, it's vintage inspired for sure uh, you get some polishing on the sides of the case and then brushing uh, on the top part it's a unique case shape and that's what I like about it um, probably leans toward a cushion style case um, but it's almost got a square feel to it at the same time so I feel like it's kind of a mixture of a couple of different case shapes and case designs you can see it has a screw down case back with some information there Swiss made uh, Swiss quartz uh, it's a Ronda I'm not sure exactly which Ronda movement that is um, but uh, it is a Swiss quartz movement um, you do get a boxed mineral crystal, boxed domed mineral crystal, so you get some cool distortion there on the dial. Uh, I would have preferred sapphire, of course, like we all would, but I cannot complain. And any gripes that I mention here are not a knock to you, Steve. Uh, it's just me, a watch reviewer, speaking in those points. I love everything about this watch, even though I might mention a few cons with it. 100 meters water resistance and you get a date window framed out down at the six o'clock i think it looks great and i just love the de dial design here the white and black uh, and almost a fluorescent orange second hand i'm not sure if that's coming through but it's got a really bright fluorescent color in person and i think that's a nice pop of color to this otherwise black and white dial watch just a beautiful vintage inspired piece. One of my favorite things about this watch is the bezel actually. It is a 60 click bezel. 
really easy to use but very you know positive clicks and it's uh, bi-directional so that's pretty cool too you can go both ways and it works and functions great man I, I really enjoy this watch the uh, leather strap is the one that came on it nice signed buckle here and I'm just really enjoying this piece honestly I I'm stunned and floored by this gift and uh, it's just an awesome piece so let me get some dimensions on this watch it is a smaller watch um, we'll try and get from side to side as best we can it's a little over 38 and a half 38.7 or so uh, case diameter case thickness with that boxed saf or not sapphire but mineral crystal is a little over 14 millimeters lug to lug distance is 44 millimeters and lug width i believe is yep 20 millimeters so Great dimensions for someone with smaller wrists like mine, six and a half inches. You already saw the wrist shot at the beginning of the video, um, but really perfect dimensions for someone like me. Uh, I'm going to shut off the lights now. I'm going to charge it up real quick and we'll check the loom on this Zodiac Sea Dragon. All right, so there's a quick loom shot. Uh, the hands definitely glow a lot better than the indices. And I've noticed that as I've been wearing the watch as well, the indices really fade quite quickly, but the hands glow pretty well, especially for being an older watch. Uh, I'm glad the hands are at least holding some of that loom a little bit better, but you can see how the indices are fading pretty quickly. But that's to be expected on a little bit older watch from a number of years back. So I've got a small list of pros and cons about this watch since I've had it for a couple weeks now. And again, the cons are just me, the watch reviewer speaking. I love everything about this watch and I'll never get rid of it because it was a gift from a friend and uh, it's got that sentimental value behind it now. But I love one of the pros about it for me is the vintage design and the unique style of this watch. Someone maybe can help me out and give me the exact case shape here, but I just love the case shape. I love the vintage design that is going on here. And for me, I love the smaller dimensions of this watch. That is another pro. And honestly, another pro is that bezel. I don't know, I just find myself playing with it often, going back and forth. I like the 60 click nature of it and just functions really well has a nice positive clicking action so the bezel is definitely a pro for me cons with it is the mineral crystal that you get here uh, i don't notice any scratches on it and mineral crystal is still pretty good for what it is so uh, but we would always prefer sapphire and then there's not a screw down crown here it's just a push pull crown and you can see there's some rust on the crown that's just from over time uh, somehow that happened if anybody down in the comments knows how to best maybe get some of that rust off of the signed crown I'd appreciate letting me know I might like to try my hand at cleaning that up a little bit but guys please let me know what you think about this Zodiac Sea Dragon uh, I am really in love with it and please again go check out my buddy Steve at the watch corner really great guy with a kind heart and again Steve I appreciate this gift so so much so thank you again well, that's it for today's video everybody thank you for stopping by to the town watch I really appreciate it please like this video it really helps out but well, that's it for today we'll see you next time here on the town watch